Hey guys, wanted to do a video for you on um, my PVC cages that I built. Um, the size uh, that I went with is a three foot wide by two foot tall by 20 inches deep. Um, the reason why I went 20 inches deep instead of 24 inches, two feet, was to save a little bit of space on them coming outward um, where um, it doesn't seem like four inches is, is that much to save on space, but um, really it, it kind of is. Um, I probably should have just went two feet, but at the time I thought 20 inches was definitely deep enough. Um, but you know, they, uh, they definitely work just fine. Um, they're both the same size. Um, that one I built first and it came out okay. The front portion of it, the latches, here are like a cabinet style latches. I wanted them to open from the center so I could uh, work, so I have more space to work um, in there. Um, but it came out like shit, so I'm switching them over to what I did here is the sliding glass track. Um, I'll do that in the near future. Um, don't want to do it now because she, um, she did breed with my male, with both males, um, but I don't want to add more stress to her um, than what the breeding process already added. So I'm just going to let her be, do her thing, uh, keeping my fingers crossed, hoping that she's gravid and just, just let her do her thing for a while. And then I'll uh, upgrade her, her cage. And actually, uh, this is uh, temporary for now. So um, I'm hoping to build something that's four foot wide and two foot tall by 20 inches deep. I'm hoping to build at least three of them. That way I have a nice tall section of four foot cages for uh, full size adults, uh, females anyway. Um, I'm looking for more females. So hopefully uh, we'll do that. Maybe a basin, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this one, obviously same size. Uh, I did add the divider, so it makes it 18 inches wide per uh, cage. And you know, it's, it's definitely big enough for what these males need. This, uh, the male on the right side, he's definitely an adult. Um, he's definitely gonna get bigger, but he could definitely use something larger, like a three footer. And that's what I'm gonna actually transfer him to when I move her to the four foot cage, when that's built. Um, the male on the left, he's still a young male. He's perfectly fine in that one. They're both doing great in this one. They have plenty of room to move around. They have two perches. They could, uh, you know, move uh, to the lower perch, get away from the heat source, uh, you know, regulate their heat better. Uh, they're doing perfectly fine. I did get a question on one of my videos uh, asking if a two foot by two foot by two foot square cage would be good enough for an adult. Um, I guess that answer would be a yes and a no. Um, I believe a male would do probably pretty good in there for a while, um, but definitely not an adult female. Um, and even an adult male is eventually gonna just grow out of that space and gonna need um, more space to move around. During the day, they don't move very much. They move back and forth from perches to regulate their heat but at night they are a back and forth. I mean, they're all over the place there. Sorry guys, I had to uh, pause the video for a sec. Uh, anyway, yes, they do require uh, more space. They move around a lot at night. So um, the more space, the better. Uh, four foot uh, cage for a full size adult female uh, would be ideal for, uh, I mean, for their, most of their adult life. Um, and do plan on building a few more of these setups, uh, the ones with the dividers for my Amazon tree boas. Uh, that'd be definitely uh, plenty of room for them. And um, anyway, the cages are PVC. Um, I did use uh, the track on these ones, the glass track, and it's this stuff here. I ordered this stuff off Amazon. I believe it was like 15 bucks um, for two. Um, I don't recall exactly, but I think it was like 15 bucks. 
And then this is the lighting that I just recently installed. Puck style lighting. They're aluminum case, which work fucking amazing. I've used other lighting before. The, the strip LED lighting is crap. That has the adhesive in the back. Don't ever use that shit. That shit does not stick very well. Um, this is the way to go. You can screw them in through those holes. This lid pops or unscrews off and then throw some screws in and not going anywhere. And they're pretty water resistant. Humid, humidity resistant anyway. Um, heat source, I have heat tape on the top and that is um, controlled by, uh, this one is controlled by the Spider Robotics um, Herbstat. And then the top one, I have the Vivarium uh, Electronics um, Thermostat and they work perfectly fine. And I'm using the dowels for these. Um, they work great. And I'm using dowel holders for the dowels. They're the aluminum ones that are brown, so they match better. And then I have aluminum style. Let me uh, slide this open, get the reflection out of there. Those vent holes, I ordered those off Amazon. I think they come in a bag of 24, or you could buy like four to six or something like that but i i bought a bag of 24 for like i think 26 bucks or something like that so anyway works great um price wise uh definitely the way to go if you're looking to save some money um if you're to order a, a pvc cage this size from one of the one of the reputable websites or dealers you're gonna spend like 300, 400 bucks on a cage like this without heating, without lighting. In total, I spent about $130 um, on, on each cage, probably 130 bucks uh, with lighting, uh, dowel rods, everything included. So definitely a better deal, a lot better deal. Um, Actually, it might have been a little bit more because this one was, uh, I had this glass cut for it. So I think we're closer to about like 160 bucks, maybe 170. I have to look at all the receipts, but definitely a better deal than $400, 340 bucks, whatever uh, PVC cages are going nowadays. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments, let me know, and then I do plan on uh, building a few more cages, like I said, for my Amazon. So I'm going to do the similar, the exact same thing here. Uh, and maybe I'll just do a video of, on how to build those. Um, I have all my own tools, saws, so I'll just do an in-depth video on putting them together and how I do it. Uh, I know they're not the professionally done up, you know, um, like, you know, obviously like PVC cages or the other ones that have the nice front that's been milled out um, but they fucking work perfect they're they hold humidity well they're water resistant um, they do exactly what they what I built them for so yeah um, if anything um, yeah I'll see you guys on the next video and uh, we'll just go from there peace guys